I'm gonna start out by chopping up my potatoes or cutting them into wedges. I've got about two, two and a half pounds of russet potatoes that I have already peeled and I am just slicing them into wedges. I'm gonna put them here in my bowl and I'm gonna cover them with cool water and let them soak for about 15 minutes. This is going to remove some of the starch from the potatoes. That's gonna allow them to crisp up a little bit better in the oven and also keep them from getting too brown while they cook. My potatoes have finished soaking and I have drained the water off. I'm just gonna put them here in the bottom of my large roaster. I've got two pounds of Boston Buck pork steaks. These are pretty large steaks, a pound each, so I'm only using two. Sometimes you can find them and they're smaller, but you'll want two pounds worth. I have two medium onions that I have chopped up kind of roughly. I'm gonna add that into this. I've got two tomatoes that I have chopped up about this size. I'm gonna add this. About six cloves of garlic. I have two jalapenos that I have de-seeded and roughly chopped. If you don't like jalapenos, you can also use just regular bell pepper. I'm gonna season this liberally with salt and pepper. I'm gonna add some oregano, about a tablespoon worth. I'm gonna squirt on some mustard, just some regular yellow mustard, about a quarter cup. I'm gonna add the juice of two lemons. I'm gonna pour over some extra virgin olive oil, about a quarter cup worth. Now I'm just gonna get in here with my hands and I'm just gonna mix all of this up. I've got two cups of beef broth and I am just going to pour that in on the corners. As I cut this up with tin foil, I've got my oven preheated to 400 degrees. I'm going to put this in. I'm going to cook it for an hour and a half. So my pork steaks and potatoes are done. So they're already done, but I'm going to put them back in the oven uncovered underneath the broiler for about five minutes or so until they get a little bit of color on them. So it is out of the oven. I put it underneath the broiler, underneath the top rack, and broiled it for about uh, five to seven minutes just to get some brownness and color on it. I'm gonna let this sit for about five minutes and then we're gonna dig in. And y'all, I wanna show you how tender this is. <laughs> it just falls right off the, mm, it just falls right apart. It's hot though. <laughs> you see how tender and juicy that is? Or can you see? If you can't see, just believe me. <laughs> I'm gonna get some of these potatoes and sauce and stuff. Get a little bit more of that sauce. The juices that cook down and put that on top. Look at that, you guys. I'm gonna go eat and I will see y'all later.